is on the FBI list at this point. The trolley problem. You stand with Ukraine, right? Then you would play the trolley problem. Huh? Oh, that's much better. What is much better? This, are you sure this isn't scary? No, it's a for fun thing. I don't know if I trust you anymore. Everything just looks scary to me now. Like, this looks... I don't know, this looks almost too simple. I'm scared. Solo co-op. Okay. I don't know how co-op works. Let's try co-op. Sure. Player count two. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you... That's rude. Now they have your signature. Actions speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc., Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, and respect. With that in mind, let's start your training. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? So you're just going to do nothing? What would you do? I guess you're right. The more people who die, the better. Foot, 19, nah, you pull the lever, of what course. What does that mean? What do you mean? Foot. Foot? You pull it. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Usually, we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Oh, God, Just think a little you. more before acting mean, next time. You, you agree with 66.63. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The only thing necessary for the triumph this of test evil men is on for the good men to do nothing. Responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years oh. old. While she loves Say to play again. in the sand with her dolls, she dreams oh, of looking great. after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. A trolley is heading towards another five people. Another You're five next to a lever. People? If you pull this lever, pull the, the trolley will derail oh, and descend oh, down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. Park you sand notice pit. that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Hospital. What do you do? It's just a sandpit. Well, you have to talk about it. Are you not saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly? Um, oh god. I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all. The needs of the many are with the needs of the few. I mean, Polly wanted to be. Oh, I don't know. It's like, I kind of know who Polly is. I'm pro. Hi, Polly. I mean, Polly, Polly, you That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Oh, Are you actual... to blame for the death of a young girl? Oh, this game has audio. Why is that in a 
achievement. Look, you agree with 54% of the players worldwide. I'm in the right because I'm in the majority. That's how democracy works. So far, I'm right on two counts. The end justifies the means. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. No, you Do you can't. push Tyrone off the bridge? You or let the train hit Tyrone. five people? That's... You cannot push Tyrone. That's, that's actually messed up. 821 million people are starving in the world. You... What? How? Okay. I don't get how that Well, is. Tyrone will thank you. He's planning to binge watch a lot this week. You can't do it. You can't push him. You can't push him. You can't push him. Because his life was never at risk. I'm of bad news, but I've just seen an ambulance arrive. I believe Tyrone has just had a heart attack due to the stress of it all. What is read and grade? That I'm not sure. But I agree with 55% of players for what I'm still in the right. I'm still democratically correct. Wait, he died? I mean, I have a heart attack. Not a cat by has being nine crushed lives. by a train. Has nine lives. Okay. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Wait, we're on the trolley? We're on the trolley. Huh? There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog? Putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone. Um, wait, what? Cold and alone? Are you kidding me? You, you, you just what? Let nature take its course. Don't listen to the yelps. I don't want to leave it to die. You kill me, leave it to die. Or Put it out of its misery? What the heck? I couldn't I don't like leave it this there game at all. To die what do you alone. mean? Why would you leave it? I couldn't leave A it. A fast death is mercy. Run it over. I can't. I can't. This is, this is actually a horror game, too. When I, you respect I'm something. Mental. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Is booming in a different Instead, way. I cannot. You just killed it. I hope you're happy. Okay. Wait, does that mean you're correct or does that mean you're wrong? That means people are weak. Oh my god, you sound. People like... are weak. When something is suffering and there's no saving it, you put it out of its misery. If you play with oh, fire, you'll, you'll get you burned. Freaking sicko. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, respect responsibility, responsibility, and integrity. And integrity. Right. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Do I like my co-worker though? Yeah, let's say you like your co-worker. I... Let's say it's Skara. 
Yeah, no, I would kill the trespassers if, if my co-worker was If the trespassers weren't there, you would change the paths, right? Goodbye. Honestly, that's probably Ooh. what I would have... All that mess is going to end up in the well. same coffin. I assume I like my co-worker in this scenario. Yeah, let's just assume you do. You killed five kids. All right then, I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits Ooh, upstairs 50%. think. Ooh, 50%. That's crazy. <coughs> Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public Good safe job, through Chad. all walks of life. Bro, we got the job though. The best laid plans go astray. Wow. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is you. stoic, focusing more on okay. justice, temperance, <laughs> courage, back. and wisdom. We'll today, start but... with justice. <laughs> justice, I love justice. Okay. I have a very strong sense today, of justice. Today, you'll be in A&E. Cool. A young male has come in from a car accident. <laughs> He needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Oh, you pick. In a year or two, we can probably get the heart back off this old boy. Wow, this guy is really old. It'll be an awful waste of a heart if he doesn't even survive the operation. The elderly one, right? Really? Because it goes in order. Just because he's young. <laughs> but the young guy will live longer. You made an excellent choice. Excellent well done. Choice. The young guy has so much to look forward to. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you save the old man? Oh. <laughs> well. It's like first, he's, and the old man's probably rich and he's gonna make a sizable donation to the hospital. Oh, that, okay. That's you can't I'm win them all. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? But it's the family will be illegal. thankful. They can still feel good about sending flowers. The patient's going to be in a lot of pain. Just so you can feel in control. Oh. It's a scam, bro. What do you mean it's He's a trying scam? to bait you into doing something legal so his family can well, sue you. This is America, dead. bro. Keeping them alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. Playing the long game. I see you. Ten dog. So I'm not going to risk my Be job. Be slow in choosing, but it's slower illegal. in changing. Oh my God. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. 
You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. You for sure leave them. What the heck is that? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh my god. Yeah, he's just, you know, traveling the world. They're probably on their way to chug ayahuasca and get a culturally appropriated Spicy tribal tattoo. <laughs> he He's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his away. life worth it? He's living his life. <laughs> what is this? They're trying to do some kind of gotcha with the trolley. It's like, oh, you flipped the switch to kill one person. Isn't this you the same let thing? five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You have been promoted yet again. You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Pretty hot. Don't tell me you're in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxxer. 20% seems really high. It seems pretty high. You're kind of... That could be one whole class. How did you answer the trolley gone. one again? <laughs> Do they just get sick? Do they come back? Like... Well, you've definitely made a name for yourself. Next, you'll be telling me you believe in healing crystals, coloured auras, and ghosts. Oh. I agree with 51.7%. Beggars wise. can't be choosers. No. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. Okay. They will affect a lot of people. Okay. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage and wisdom the people need you to be stoic stoic will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic while testing placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients without proper treatment some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual what is that you said this wasn't scary. What was that? Why? 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 It's why? It's Polly. <laughs> She's upset because I killed her. You're doing the right thing. Who needs new medicines what anyway? What the heck? Yeah, I, I didn't listen to the story. I don't know anything about it. That freaked me out. What the hell? What are the four humors again? Bile, phlegm, blood. Hmm. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. Dear insert underscore name. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. 
In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. We're gonna go work for Elon Musk, man. Um, we're moving on up. breeds contempt. Yeah. No, we're definitely Well, la di da, another for promotion. Sure. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. First things first, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers. Oh my god. Well, in movies, people always swerve their cars, so you know. You kill the child that here, child right? The child has as much right to live as anyone else. No. The child does not have the right to live if it trips in front of a car. He didn't mean to trip. You put the this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible the for their death? The mistake is on the child. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Not someone's child. The, the people swerving would have been. Great. There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer oh, know well. that something in the road is human? Do we have well. good enough data sets? Oh, Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Necessity is the mother of invention. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. You need to choose how you want Dude, to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? At any cost? Does that mean killing other people? People will, will only people buy, buy our cars, cars that will kill them? if it guarantees their safety. Yeah. If you told me there's a car that will always keep me alive, I would pay out the wazoo for it. Okay. Well, hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. I would buy everyone I love that car. <laughs> They'll never die. <laughs> My job is to raise the stock price, okay? Okay. Saving the passengers does help with our technical problems. Current data sets discriminate against women and minorities. This solution means the AI doesn't need to determine if black women are people. Good work, I guess. Why is this game getting woke? Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Um. You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets. No, but... We have to respect their privacy. Yeah, we have to respect privacy. Oh, bravo. Now they'll be able to kill again. 
and I'll if they find out we're recording people stories. illegally, we're gonna lose the stock prices. We're down 70% already. I'm hired to raise the stock price, okay? I wasn't hired for moral reasons. I have a feeling the investors reasons. upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. See? The investors are happy. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? I think you saved the child. But look at our stock prices, baby! Six hundred twenty percent. Just not this one. I had calls in this company. I'm up. Yeah, so that. A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. In the far car park, obviously. I think you have to save it. I think you have to save it. Global warming will lead to more than 250,000 deaths each year and force 100 million people from their homes. Do you know any therapists who specialize in survivor's guilt? If, look, if we can make the prototype once, we can make it again. With the potential to end global warming. What goes around comes around. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Oh, no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. It's the dead dog. God, I can't breathe. Ow, my stomach hurts. I mean, you push Tommy, right? Tommy? Yeah. He's you know, he isn't trying to kill you, track. even after the dog debacle. I hope history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean, very large villain. No, I was so with the dog. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully, the media won't find out about this. People yeah, may blame you. No one's you for gonna history. let Tommy live. Every man has his price. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations. Yeah, I think that's fair. What if people can't afford this coverage? Why is there even a subscription? What if people can't afford this coverage? Welcome to healthcare in America. Wake up! It's already here! This sounds a little like a protection. It's called an insurance plan. If you don't have it, you get screwed. But then they think we don't want it. We don't want that, right? Like, we should... They're just should describing just... American healthcare. Oh, no. <laughs> we should we try to make life better for everybody? 
I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but... Well, this is awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a ruthless capitalist. Next you'll say you're going to get out of paying taxes. I can't believe only 30% of people think like that. Really? You really can't believe it, Oh, yeah, You really can't. <laughs> It's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Oh God. I mean, Francis probably has a retirement fund. Hiring no, another five to replace Francis. them is going to be hard work. How are we going to function in the short term? I can't. I can't fire Francis. I can't, I can't. fire Francis. They're young. They'll find new jobs. <laughs> I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turns out one of those graduates worked really, really hard to get their job oh, here. 61% of people agree with me. You can't, you can't fire Francis. Watch the donut, not the hole. Yeah. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Yeah, it's the coders. The they coders were clearly AI. under pressure from you to make such a mistake. That is not an accidental mistake. They coded it. Maybe they all of this jail. is your fault. They should have been better coders. The five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. They will each get a 10-year prison sentence. Maybe you did push them that, too that, hard. That's not on me, man. That's not on me. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviours of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. No one wants to own things anymore. Honestly, I think a lot of people would like the idea. Oh, I don't know if I can keep clicking it. I will look into growth hacking the numbers going up and, and I like inviting that. friends. The number is getting bigger. I like that. I'm going to keep clicking it. 
I don't know, but I like I like big numbers. Oh, great. The free travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex ring. Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people while you sleep. People do not like you at all. Wait, what happened? I was just trying to give people free car rides. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spe to help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products, or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? The workers. Because... Oh, oh. Oh, I, I like... I like seeing a lot of thumbs up. I think that's a good thing. I'll keep that. What if I press this? Oh, I get hearts too. Nice. I can get both to both customers like this is not a good look. I can get thumbs up and hearts. I guess you don't value your employees as much as I thought. Give it back to the workers because the workers are what make societies work. That's why they're called workers. They make it work. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still close-minded? Secret prejudice, the best kind. Hashtag oh fake news. Bro, why would you lie? We you need may be in this the for the edge, wrong man. Car like this? How do you even What's the point of telling the like truth? That? Telling the truth is not gonna fix anything. Well, it'll maybe get your coders to fix it. I don't know. People know we spread oh. misinformation and don't God. spend time developing our software for women or people of color. It's like that in tech. Users only care how easy it is for them. Get over it. The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their how jobs to machines, which in turn Chad, makes items know? and services more many accessible weeks? and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? 52 weeks? Wait, actually? If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and huh. couriers will become extinct within a few <laughs> years, <laughs> but you second. will make a lot of money. Do you continue <laughs> development? Oh, God. It's freaking oh. me out. It's freaking me oh, out. You said this game wasn't scary. It's a horror you game disguised scary. as a meme game. You said it wasn't scary. Ah, it's turning horror. <laughs> I take it you yeah. haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. Bro. Oh god, it's loading. It's, it's it's freaking out, bro. Stop. It's turning horror. I can't. Is it actually a horror game? It's it's turning horror. What is this? Oh my god. 
Holy shit, oh no. Spoiler, Icarus died at the end. Cease development, cease development, cease development. The game is melting. We shouldn't have asked. We should have asked how long this game was. This game found out when we were the game. Oh. Someone else will continue to evolve this AI, making it stronger, more intelligent, and easier to adapt. We can't stop the singularity if we aren't involved. Your game ran into problem and needs to restart. We're collecting some error info. It looks like you have made some really bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Recall it, right? It's okay. Recalling is so fine. I think Volkswagen had to recall swim. a model of cars as well. We're in, boys. What are you doing? Huh? What's that? No, Chad and I, we're, we're in. In what? If the cars can't drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. Uh, honestly, this game was uh, pretty scary. Two wrongs don't make a but right. 52 weeks is way too long. We need to take a pause. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to... There's a campaign and a reading list? The reading list problem. What what do you mean reading list? Oh, it's ten weeks, so we're halfway there. I swear it was stuck on on five. And you can select problems as well. Alright, that was pretty fun. Was that actually a horror game? No, I think that's more of a meme game. Why was it getting creepy at the end then? Uh, it has like some uh, some uh, meta references. Like what? I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, so I think that's gonna do it for us. You know, we completed one horror game. I'm proud of us. Good yeah, job. you did it. You really did it. No, I, we uh, did it. Oh yeah, no. It's Okay, I'll take credit for that. Yeah, I did do it. You are right. And, and I'll do it again. Tomorrow we play Observation Duty. What's Observation Duty? It's the horror game where you uh, investigate paranormal activities. Is that actually scary? Tomorrow. All right, chat. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow? This no. was this guy's toast and Katamina. I, I don't know if I can you say like a cute game? Is it a cute game? 
Yeah. We'll see you all tomorrow we for more be... horror games. No, how about how about we we should mix it up? You know, like a horror game and then a cute game and then a horror game. Goodbye, chat. Well, well. Say I... goodbye. But I'm just no, saying. No, just say goodbye. Okay. Just say goodbye. Well, just wave. Just wave and smile.